I'm going to read a poem called How Long the Long Winter. Um, it is included in a book of mine called Not Hearing the Wood Thrush. Um, the theme of impermanence is important here, um, and it's widened out in this poem to include not just the lovers in the poem, but also the earth, our planet. Big impermanence, <laughs> in a sense. How long the long winter? Awake in the middle of the night, the river cracks with language, the ice of it a heave of squares and oblongs. Only the waterfall, its cold spray frosting nearby juts of stone with lace, continues to tumble as if it will never cease to move or be. Once it was we lay down together, two lakes touching. I want to do to you what spring does to the lilac, I whispered. Not an idle fantasy or vain, I'm drawn to what any one moment might make of its own impermanence. That's all we have. We know the body dies. We say the spirit doesn't, but I don't know. In five billion years, the sun will take out the earth and all life if there's still life left. Billions more and the expanding universe will reach its limit and recede, raveling back into the nothing from which nothing comes. It will be as if we were never here. Love, joy, the music our bodies make. Once we've vanished, what happens to these? These streaks of light released from within us to blow about like pollen among the blossoming stars. What happens to spirit when the material universe of star birth and sun's warmth is no more? How long the long silence in which it lies dormant? How long the long winter of no river, no meander, no waterfall rainbow or ocean splendor before the random spark ignites and out of what seems impossible love once again comes love. One of the things that I'm doing in many of the new poems that I'm writing these days, um, in a book that's um, going to be called, I think, The Glass Globe, is trying to link the strategies we have for caregiving in our personal lives and grief in our personal lives to what's happening globally with climate crisis or global warming, there are a lot of ways to talk about it, but there are things to pull up short and notice and try to give care to. And my strategy is that any, or my feeling rather, is that when love is at the back of, is the motive force behind any action, whether it's personal or social, it will be an action that completes itself and is good. Mm -hmm.